Hey guys, Eric from Dine here. We're back again with another video and today we're going to be talking about how to optimize your restaurant's menu using the newest phenomenon, ChatGPT. Now, if you have not yet been exposed to the revolution that is ChatGPT, it's a little bit complicated, but it's about to blow your mind. The AI tool can do basically anything you ask and uses AI technology to attempt to first understand your prompt and then in turn spits out strings of words that it predicts will best answer your question. Now this doesn't always mean it's 100% accurate because it's only predicting what the best answer would be based on its knowledge. However, while the answers aren't always 100% accurate, using ChatGPT could be very useful for a large amount of businesses in terms of gathering suggestions. Now, what I'm going to be demonstrating today is how to use ChatGPT to optimize your restaurant's menu. Now, selling stats are confidential to restaurants, so we won't be able to display those, but I'll give you a little bit of a walkthrough on how to input your own selling stats, and ChatGPT will do the rest of the work. So the first thing you're going to want to do is visit the ChatGPT website. It's as simple as that. You search it up, and then if you don't have an account, you'll have to create one. They're free, so don't worry. If you do, you just log in, ChatGPT, and we're in. It's as simple as that. So once you're in, you can ask it anything. Why is the sky blue? The sky up clear, it tells you anything, right? Stop chattering. We don't need that. Now, how to optimize a restaurant menu. It's going to give you a couple tips. Now, you can use these tips if you'd like, but you can also use ChatGPT to just optimize it for you, which is what we're about to do. So, see, understand your target market, streamline the menu items, blah, blah, blah. There's a ton of tips. But for our purposes, we're just going to copy a random menu from the internet. You're going to put your own menu. Optimize this menu based on price, let's say. And then we're just copy paste it in. See? So, it's going to adjust it. It's even saying reduce these things to certain prices. And it's sorting them by small plates, uh, mains. It's pretty much that simple. If you have your selling stats from your restaurant, it's a lot more useful to put those stats in along with the rest of your menu, copy paste it and put it after. So you have the mains, you have the whole menu written down, and then you're going to add in your selling stats at the end. So if you have your selling stats, they would be able to do all of these a lot more accurately. This is only based on their knowledge, so I guess just what's on the internet. However, if you put in your own selling stats, they'll be able to accurately analyze those as well as your menu and give you the best suggestions based on those inputs. So ChatGPT is really great because you can use all these suggestions here, optimize the menu layout and design. Those are important. Obviously, ChatGPT can't do those because it's just text purely. However, it could be useful for a lot of suggestions such as here, it's important to consider factors such as ingredient cost, profit margins. We all know those, but you could also use it to sort your menu. Sort the menu by price, low to high. Let's see it work. Oh, they got it wrong and they put four above. Anyways, it's pretty accurate, as you can tell, but it's not always 100% accurate, which is the main thing to keep in mind when you're using ChatGPT. It's great for uh, providing suggestions for your business, but not always the exact answers. So always keep that in mind when you're using this and use it as a tool, not as a workaround or as the full solution. It's just a tool to help guide you in the right direction. Now, what it tells me is that it doesn't have access to the specific cost and popularity data for the menu items. This is what you're going to want to input yourself. And then it just gives some general tips. But in all, you can see how this could be a very useful tool for your business. It works for all sorts of businesses. Let's say create a pitch for a restaurant selling pizza. Let's see what it says. Introducing Slice and Savor, your destination for an exquisite artisan pizza. There you go. It's as simple as that. If you're looking to elevate your restaurant even further, discover Dine, our advanced analytics software that helps you make data-driven decisions for your restaurant. 
Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow us on all of our social medias and stay up to date with us to learn more suggestions, tips, tricks for your restaurant growth. Thank you and have a good one.